So I'll just start by saying, obviously, it was a, a, a tough game the other day. Um, credit to the Packers. They played well, um, really across the board. Um, I thought our guys played hard. It uh, wasn't our night. And, um, you know, really, we're just trying to move forward. And, um, you know, obviously, another big game in the division against Detroit on the road this week. Um, just want to finish strong. But, you know, our guys played hard. It just wasn't our night. When you say it wasn't your night, was it schematically wasn't your night, or was it just them just adjusting to things you guys were doing? You know, I think it was a little bit of everything. Um, they did a, a good job of uh, putting their players in good position. Um, you know, we didn't do a good enough job putting our guys in, in good position. Uh, that starts with me. Um, but they played well. I thought the quarterback played well. I thought he got the ball out quickly. Uh, I thought the receivers played well. Um, I thought that line blocked. You know, we didn't get enough pressure uh, throughout the night. Uh, they got it out quickly. Um, it was just, you know, you know, we missed some tackles. We did some, we didn't defeat blocks the way we needed to. We didn't play with, um, you know, the, the speed and the, and, the, and the juice that we needed that night. And um, but I think you, you know, we watch the tape. We make the corrections. We learn from it. And we, you know, get ready for Detroit. Absolutely. Could you see growth from Jordan just from the first time you guys faced him? Yeah, I mean, you've seen that really, you know, throughout the course of the season. Um, he's an improving player. I mean, there's no doubt about that. Um, he played well. Uh, he gave us some issues. He made some big throws. He made some off-balance throws. Um, you know, some instances where we did have some pressure. Um, you know, he did a nice job. And uh, I thought they, they did a nice job of just kind of giving him some things where he got the ball out quickly. And, um, you know, he played well. Do they do more than other teams have to limit Daniel's effectiveness? Uh, I mean, they had a good plan for Daniel. They really had a good plan across the board. Um, again, they did a lot of good things, both run game, pass game wise, um, and then we didn't play. We didn't play all that well either. So um, the combination of the two get, get, got, you, got us the result that we had, and um, we got to be better. Starts with me. What's your message to your unit this week on how to bounce back and make sure that you guys do finish the season strong? Uh, I mean, it always comes back to fundamentals, technique. Uh, you know, that's really it. You know, edge players set the edge, cutback players playing for cutback, defeating blocks, tackling, you know, uh, limiting the explosive plays, tackling. I know I said that, but I'm gonna just keep reiterating that. Um, I mean, when, you, when you're doing those things well, Normally things work out in your favor. Um, you know, our vision and break, our ability to just kind of see the ball out of the quarterback's hand and, and uh, you know, put our foot in the ground and go. I mean, those things we just, we harp on them all the time. Um, we didn't do it the other night. And, you know, we just got to get back out in the grass and, um, you know, emphasize those things because uh, they're important. When we do them, you know, we play well. When we don't, we don't. I mean, you're locked in on Lions, but I'm wondering to the extent that you have, like, how do you view sort of the larger arc of the season for the defense? I mean, that the middle part of the season, those few months, the guys were pretty lights out, and now it's kind of been a little more up and down. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think you try to get back to that. Yeah. I mean, that's really, um, I know we're capable, we're capable of. Um, we've shown that. Um, but again, you know, every week's different in the National Football League. Um, I think, uh, you know, that's, Knowing that we what we're capable of, uh, just trying to get back to that, you know, and how do we do that as a staff, as a, as, a, as players, um, just as a total unit. Uh, that's kind of where our focus is, you know, as a defensive staff. Um, but really, you know, when you watch it, it really comes back to the things we talked about before. Um, just really, really honing in on and being precise and detailed on, on those fundamentals. Right. How would you evaluate the, the younger cornerbacks and their development this year? Uh, I mean, they're developing. I think, you know, we've got a group of guys that are young. They work hard. It's important to them. Um, obviously, there have been some mistakes on, on the field, but that's, that comes with being a young player. Um, uh, but I think there's been growth in really all of them. Um, you know, Caleb, Makai, uh, Booth. I mean, I think all those guys have, have grown this year. Um, uh, and I think, you know, they've, they've, there's been some you know, high moments and there have been some not so high moments. Um, and that's, you know, as a young player in this league, it's, uh, you know, those experiences, every experience is a good one, whether it's bad or good, um, as long as you learn from it and grow from it. And I think those guys are, are certainly growing from, from you know, those, those uh, moments that aren't so high.
Brian, how do you keep what happens on the Vikings offense from bleeding into the defense, like the turnovers, being put in bad situations, time of possession? How do you like approach that? We just got to we go out there and try to get stops. You know, we have you know a lot of faith in um, you know in our offense, in our offensive players, uh, in our team, in our offensive coaches. So you know, my message to those guys is you know. Whatever happens, we're just gonna go out there and try to get stops. Um, we need to do a better job of that. You know, I think um, you know we need to focus on the task at hand. I think we've done that, um, and I think our players they go out they've done a good job of that. Um, you know, over the course of the season, we just need to you know just need to keep playing. Well, how's the season been for you getting back to you know, running the defense and being caught? I was only one year in between, but just getting back to that. Having a different group in a different part of the country, a different part yeah. of the league, and all that. No, it's been it's been. I I would say already, and I've told our, our players this has been one of the uh, most rewarding, uh, mm -hmm. most fun seasons I've been a part of. Um, and it's not done yet, so uh, I'm not. There's no like finality behind that. Yeah. Um, but it's been a great group. I think I've evolved um, and done some things that are out of my comfort zone. And, um, I think we've got a great def a great staff. I'm appreciative of all those guys and the work they put in, um, but yeah, it's been a it's been a fun season. Um, you know, in a great town, Minnesota's been great to me, and um, you know, I'm really enjoying it. And you know, it's been great. What's the, like what's been the fun part? Just watching the way they played, or uh, well, it's a great group. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's a great group of guys. Um, they play hard. It's important to them. Um, you know, again, some things are new and different. Um, and they, you know, they put the trust in, in, in you know, myself and our coaching staff that uh, we're putting them in good positions, and um, it's just, it's, it's just a fun, it's just, it's, just, it's been a fun year. Um, getting back to, and I, and I, you know, personally, I just feel like I've, I'm, I've improved, I've gotten better over the course of the year. Um, I'm always trying to improve and evolve, um, and uh, no, that's, that's, that's been good. Brian, is that evolution on the field, off the field? Oh, how do you kind of describe I think every year in the National Football League, we're, we're all just trying to grow. So whether it's, you know, obviously on the grass, you know, within your play calling or your schematics or, um, you know, your relationships. Um, and then, you know, just collectively, you know, just our growth as a, as a group, uh, just kind of being in front of the room every day. Um, it's just, it's fun to watch them grow um, as a unit and then watch them grow individually. And uh, you know those are that's why that's why I'm a coach you know, because of you know those 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 aspects of you know the camaraderie within a team environment that that um, that I really I, I enjoy I love it.